introduce our group. Our group name is Lotus and similarly our Lotus, we kept our name Lotus because Lotus petals are attached each other with unity. Uh, if uh, one petal also deducted from that uh, Lotus then uh, it will lose uh, that beauty of the Lotus. Similarly, our group members work with each other with unity and our group topic is income from salary per is it taxable, partly taxable and exempted from tax. Our group member is me, myself, Shraddha Patkar and uh, Sonali Naik.
provides employees of free of cost, it is called as rent free accommodation. But it is taxable. In other words, we can say a uh, house provided for the employee for a uh, residential purpose or an employer offers his work with it for the company, company employees, like for example, uh, free of cost or a minimum rent or and uh, uh, rent free accommodation includes flat, guest house, service apartment, um, mobile house, etc. So, uh, there are two types of categories. One is government employees and another one is non-government employees. So, under government employees, uh, employees of central government and state government, so there, there is a format based on a furnished house and unfurnished house. In furnished house, uh, rent fixed by the government, then we should add 10% of cost of furniture, then we get taxable per visit. Then an uh, unfurnished house, uh, rent fixed by the government, then we get taxable per uh, visit. So, so there is an example. Rakesh is an employee in government department. He is provided with a rent recommendation in Bangalore. Cost of the furniture provided is 80,000 and two air conditioners where, which have been taken on hire by the company have also been the provided in the accommodation. The higher charge of the, uh, each uh, air condition is rupees 1,500 per annum. Compute the valuation of rent free accommodation. If the accommodation is provided by the government and the value of the accommodation as per the government is rupees 1,000 per month. So, as I have said, the format of rent free accommodation, calculation of the rent free accommodation rent fixed by the government is given in the portion that is 10,000 per month means in one year there is 12 months. We should multiply this 12, then we will get 12,000. At 10% of furniture that is given in portion cost of the furniture that is 80,000, we should uh, multiply with 10%, then we will get 8,000. High charge of the air condition that is 1500 two air conditions are given so we should multiply by two then we get 3000 then we should add this four then we get 11000 then we get value of rent uh, free accommodation that is 21000 next will be explained by Saudi thanks Good afternoon to everyone. My name is Sami Tamsi and my topic is accommodation and concessional rent. Uh, meaning, uh, it means such accommodation, uh, it means accommodation is not given at the free of cost, but employees pay certain amount is known as accommodation and concessional rent. Next is format. Under that, value of work visit, less rent paid by employee, uh, and last is taxable work visit. Ram is working in a private company, it is in a city where population is less than 10 lakh. A house is owned by the employer, it is provided to give his salary for the purpose of rent. Three houses, 3 lakh for the year. He has paid 16 lakh for the end to the employer. Furniture is also provided for him to pay 75,000. Calculate the value of work visit. Calculation of value of concessional rent 7.5% of salary. Have it paid by us. Population, if the population is less than 10 lakh, then they have to take 7.5% and the salary amount is 3 lakh. So we have to multiply, we will get 22,500. Then add 10% of cost furniture. 10% have to pay this. It is in the format of rent free accommodation. Then furniture amount is 75,000. Then we have to multiply, we will get 7,500. Then we have to add, we will get 30,000. That is value of furnished house. Then less rent charge from employer that is 16,000. Then you have to deduct, you will get 14,000 that is flexible per visit. Next will be explained by Saishu. Education expenses which are paid by the employer is for tax. 
here there are two term terms. That is, one is small car and another is large car. They have said us to find out both. That is, cubic capacity of engine does not exceed 1.6 liter. This means that it is a small car. And the second is cubic capacity of engine exceeds 1.6 liters. That is for large car. So firstly, let's solve the first one. That is a small car. The condition of a small car is to is the the taxable purpose is. is 1800 now we calculate according to the financial year so year consists of 12 months so we uh, multiply 1800 with 12 months we get 21600 and then we have to add driver salary that is the 900 per month into 12 months equals to 10800 then we have to add both the amount then we are going to get the 32400 that is nothing but the taxable purpose this was the first condition for small car and when it comes to the large cars that is the car purpose is 2400 and then we have to multiply it with that one we are going to get 28800 and then at driver salary that is 900 into 12 months you are going to get 10800 then add both of it and you are going to get the 39600 as a taxable purpose Here the taxable purpose is means thirty two thousand four hundred is the taxable amount for the small car, and when it comes to the large car, thirty nine thousand six hundred is the taxable amount for the large car. Now the next topic will be explained by uh, Reshma. Thank you. Thank you.